Hi there, good morning, it's Dave Morgan there. Dave Scott Morgan even, trying to answer some of your questions. And I've got a question here which says this. You've created really beautiful and spiritual music. That's nice, isn't it? Along with lively rockers and deeper tunes with historical inspiration. What is your songwriting process? Hmm. You know, right there it says... It speaks about deeper tunes with historical inspiration, and it's a fact that um, that the, the most famous song I ever wrote uh, was a song called Hiroshima, which was uh, really big in Europe, um, sold really well. But I've done a lot of other songs which which are inspired historic by historical stories, or uh, especially recent uh, recent war wartime things. For example, a song called Tanya, which is about Che Guevara's girlfriend. Who's Che Guevara? Well, you you know, it, you'd need to look it up now. But uh, he was a revolutionary who was a friend of Fidel Castro. This is way back in the 60s, before the Cuban Revolution. And uh, there's a girl named Tanya, who was his girlfriend, who died with him in, in the Bolivian jungle. So I wrote a song about, about uh, Tanya. Recently I wrote a song called Gibraltar Farm, which is about a girl named Violet Zaba. It's not always about girls, by the way, don't get... The, but Violet Zaba was a famous heroine of World War Two, And uh, there had been... I think there's probably been other songs written about her. There's certainly a film made about her and, and, and lots of stuff written about her. But you know what? It was when I discovered that the place where she left from the, the little uh, place on the airfield where she left from had the nickname Gibraltar Farm. And I thought, what a great title, uh, Gibraltar Farm. So th uh, uh, that's, that's why I, I got the song together for Violet Zaba. I discovered that because somebody came to our church who lived near there and they told me this and I looked it up and sure enough, Gibraltar Farm was the name of, of this place. So that's a song about Violet Zaba, uh, who was a heroine in 19... 4445. Um, the question also asks, what's your songwriting process? And I guess I've, I've answered it in a way by telling you that you, you get inspired by a story or by a person uh, and, and you, you write a song about them. But the fact is, most of my songs have really been written about the people that I know or about uh, situations of my own. I've just put my own... Uh, situation into songs or other people's situation pals or something you know um but the songwriting process i i just have to say it's like this sometimes sometimes you, a song can fall together really quickly the quickest song i ever wrote uh was a song called this is my prayer which is on the call album which is a christian song and it's just so so simple and and uh, and it's one of the best songs I've I've ever written and and that took about 10 minutes to write that Hiroshima as well didn't take very long which was a um, the song which was a big hit in, in Europe but some songs can take absolutely ages to to do I remember one song called Paradise Garden which which took me uh, I don't know it was over a year of 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 trying this trying that recording it this way recording it that way and and finally we got it together in, I think it was 1980, 1985, some, somewhere around there. Or it might have been 87. Um, but anyway, we got it together with a group called Tandy, Morgan Smith. That's with myself, Richard Tandy and Martin Smith. But that song took a lot of working. A lot of songs do take a, a lot of working out to make them to make them work. You just have to stick at them. Um, but all songs come from a little spark, a little a little idea. Sp some spark of inspiration it can be a great a great bit of melody that you go with or, or a great lyric line or a great title line um, I believe Roy Wood always used to look for title lines when he was uh, way back in the 60s then when I used to know him I remember he used to, he used to go around saying oh, I haven't got a title for this song yet so I need a, need a catchy title and catchy titles are brilliant yeah um, OK, so that's that's me talking about the songwriting process. Thanks again for, for these great questions that you keep sending them in. I'll, I'll try and answer them. Bye-bye for now.